Hi everybody, this is Roses Are Red at the Psychic Ward. I'm Rosetta Marie, your reader. So I pulled this card out. Uh, I know I messed up everything. Somebody's kind of reflecting on what they did and they lost you for some reason. Whatever it is that they did was a reason for uh, them to be cut off. You cut them off. That's what I'm hearing. And this person is still very much in love with you. They say you, they love you unconditionally. Regardless of what went on between y'all, this person seems like they're infatuated by you and they're not willing to disappear. They're trying to figure out what they can do to get you to open your heart back up to them. You speak to me through music. Somebody is feeling like you have such a beautiful speaking voice, like it's very melodic and something about the way you speak is like almost poetic that just keeps them thinking about what you're saying. Like is repeated in their head repetitively. My life is not as together as it seems. So this person could have tried to portray themselves as being, yeah, all put together. And maybe they try to make you feel bad for something that they can pair themselves to you in some way. This could be a job. Like this person could have purchased a new building for their company or something related to money and finances. I feel like. I hear who I really am from you. And this person could be suffering financially. I feel like this is the reason why they left or did whatever they did to get you to leave them. Like they just could not afford to keep up with you. Whatever you were doing, you guys were doing together was costing this person too much money. And they just were going broke basically. So they might've tried to engage uh, an argument. Ooh. They might've tried to engage an argument with you or start an argument so that you could cut this person off. That's what I'm hearing. I'm becoming a better person. So what they're doing is working on themselves right now. Hopefully trying to get their money up so they can come back into your life. It seems like for some reason, like I'm hearing that's right. Like they knew that they couldn't handle it. And if it's not about spending money specifically, it could be for some people like you were just manifesting at such a higher level than this person. They just couldn't keep up mentally. So that may be interesting for some people you might not have realized that some people are leaving your life right now because they can't handle how amazing you are i can't even look at you right now that's what they're saying you're so bright and beautiful that it's hurting their eyes it's making them feel like their eyes are bulging out of their skulls it's, it's physically painful so i don't know if that's a compliment or what i am coming trust what on earth i'm getting like sexual tones from that um, I don't know. Maybe this person is fantasizing about you. Words do hurt. But this all this person also wants to come back into your life for some people. But it kind of seems like this person was pleasuring themselves to you. If they have a photograph of you or maybe something about your voice or something music musically inclined. Seek professional advice. So Maybe this has to do with the readings that you're getting on this person that they messed up. So let's find out what they what they messed up about. Let's see. Some cards to clarify what they messed up about. What did this person mess up about? Spirit. What did this person mess up about? What are we seeking professional advice for nostalgia memories healing they messed up in the past something they did to cause you hardship okay something about your memories they love you unconditionally so i so it seems it seems like Something about your memories like they altered the way you think about them and you were so such a memory for them that now they can't go back in the past and think that you're okay with them. Like, yeah, they messed up. They're apologetic because it aff it affected them. It's not so much of what they did to affect you. Also, I'm feeling like you definitely came out on top in this situation. But for some people, it's like you were their best friend in their head, and then they tried to pop up, pop back up into your life acting like they ran everything, like they were in control and they really lied about this when really the way they feel is like they were at your beck and call. They just loved you no matter what. 
but they made it seem like you had to be a certain way to gain their love. And um, and they, they had a fallen out with you. For some of y'all, y'all might have dealt with this person who did something to fall out. And now they're regretting this because they can't go back in the past and re reflect over the relationship that you had because currently you don't want to deal with them anymore. What's going on with this music? Yeah, it's like, okay, then you have the double card here. My life is not as together as it seems. So now they just hear they're they're in confusion right now and they they're not getting peace like they used to because they were feeding off of your energy in the past and so they regret even contacting you again because you you and you bursted their bubble and ended whatever fantasy they had about you because you're living in a real world and and it's just is too magnificent for them to exist in this world. Even like, it's like you shatter all uh, delusions that were they, whereas they, they, they felt like they had some type of power over you. You'll achieve your dreams. And this could be something that you've done purposely, like breaking all ties with this person, cutting all cords and it's affecting them. So I feel like that's what they're, that's what they're upset about. Yeah, you were really you were really assertive about this disconnect. Okay, and what does this words do hurt that that they're recovering from? You might have told them all for custom out. Somebody could some of y'all could have put a curse on this person. Like it sent them back into an infantile stage where they had to start over because you might have known for a long time. So let's pull some cards for this person's personality just to get a closer look at who this person could be um, if you're still not sure. But I feel like this is definitely a childhood friend who was tied to your energy and they came back in acting like they ran the show and you embarrassed them. They were acting ungrateful when it when in reality, they would have been kissing your feet if they were honest with themselves about how they truly feel about you. But they were they were acting really crude and harsh towards you, and you didn't budge because you're not afraid of this person, and it and it just it basically stopped their heart. They were terrified. With this devil energy, they were they're they're being limited by their delusions, and and because you cut them off, it's almost like they can't breathe because you were their life source. Yeah, you disrupted their fantasies. And they can't go back to pretending. So for some of y'all, this could be helpful for some of y'all. Um, it, it was also helpful that he was or she showed their true colors at this time. They could feel like they were family. But it's like they got a little too close to the flame. When it, when it comes to eating your energy, it was, they were overindulging themselves, getting drunk off of your energy. And something about blood is thicker than water, but this person might not even really be blood. It's like whatever, whatever they were using to attach to you, you can, I mean, you can, you can literally disown this person or divorce, divorce this person. And they, they were behaving very impulsively by contacting you. Okay, I'm seeing virtue was here. They could have felt like they had tainted your uh, virtue in some way. And they were trying to attack your virtue. And they just realized that you're like the Mother Mary in their world. And and, and they just cursed themselves by, by speaking so rudely towards you. Yeah, I feel like they're, this was whatever behavior you caught this person in however they expose themselves is very insightful to your life moving forward like it could have showed you how this person had had been clinging to you all your life and maybe you felt like a pool on your energy growing up that's now suddenly released because this person is uh cut off from you on all levels one more card for this energy 
I'm seeing lazy twice. And then you have coward. Yeah, this per person behaved very cowardly. I want to know what this person was being a coward about. Some cards on this cowardliness. To clarify this cowardliness. Um, I'm hearing something about this person being a coward because he tried to gang up on you, like double team you. This could be a family uh, dispute or issue or something like which is like he, he was trying to, to dis disrupt your calmness yeah, or disturb your inner peace in some way. And this could be what made him behave cowardly. Okay, so he tried to agitate you. But I feel like you've done so much inner work that he should have thought twice about it because now he's living in confusion. He has to be reckoned with the fact that he was a demon in your life. He behaved like a demon and you didn't respond. Maybe you, you used to respond in the past, but I feel like you've done so much work that it's like now he realizes that he's operating with the toddler's energy. Like that's how little growth he's done in the past. And it's just like, it's, it's, it's scarce. It scares him also. Yeah. So he, he, he might've been stuck in a daydream for a while, but it looks like that's disturbed now. So you, you burst his bubble and put him all the way back into an infantile, infantile state. But now he's like a child without imagination. So it's really scary for him.